Hello, my name is Michelle and I'm the Director of Sales here at Emergent Vision Technologies and I'll be hosting this webinar today discussing our 10 Gigi cameras. Today we'll be going over our company background, what is 10 Gigi, the HR series, the HT series, accessories, products coming soon, compatible third-party products, applications, frequently asked questions, so just to give you a little information on our company background, we were uh, established in 2007. We're based out of Vancouver, Canada. We started as an engineering service company with over 30 plus years of combined imaging experience between our management and engineers. Um, through our business, we thought that Tengigi would be the uh, next great interface for cameras. So product development began and we shipped our first Tengigi cameras about five years ago. What is Tengigi? Tengigi is a successor to Gigi. It is, um, <clears throat> Gigi is the leading um, interface for machine vision applications to date, and Tengigi provides 10 times the speed of Gigi. Tengigi, as, a, as with Gigi, is an industry standard which has been around for years and is managed and produced by the IEEE 802.3 Working Group. The standard is used in applications such as telecom, data communications, industrial, and military. And now we leverage the benefits of this globally accepted cross-industry technology for machine vision applications. And as you can see here, um, any third-party software application that is uh, Gigi Vision or GeniCam compliant will work with our cameras as we are also uh, Gigi Vision and GeniCam compliant. With uh, 10 Gigi, the maximum bandwidth is 10 uh, GBPS or um, a usable bandwidth for us is 9.5 Gbps, uh, 10 Gigi, uh, 10 times faster than Gigi, but also three times faster than USB 3.0. We have copper or fiber cable options, copper up to 100 meters and fiber up to 10 kilometers, and we'll discuss this more um, as we get further along in the presentation. Why would you consider 10 Gigi for your application? If um, you're interested in getting high data and frame rates, um, nothing matches it on the market today. We have flexible cable options. Um, the camera network support and accurate multi-camera synchronization to sub one microsecond. We'll also be discussing that when we go over um, the dual sync NIC cards. We have options um, for, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. We have no need for fiber converters or frame grabbers. We have low CPU overhead, low latency and low jitter. We offer competitive cost and performance, which will only get better as 10 Gigi is further adopted. Um, industry acceptance due to IEEE and AIA standardization. And of course, we are Gigi Vision and GeniCam compliant. So the first cameras we're going to discuss today are the HR series. This is our flagship product. Um, originally, we started with this camera series because it uses a um, SFP Plus connection, which um, <clears throat> gives customers the options of either direct attached copper or fiber. Uh, we started with the CMOS uh, sensor line because of the speed and performance that those uh, sensors did provide. So we have the 2, the 4, the 12, and the 20. Um, we can do multi-camera synchronization to sub 1 microsecond. And as you can see here, a snapshot of uh, some of the specs on our cameras. Um, you can see a 2 megapixel can do uh, 338 frames per second, and a 20 megapixel um, can do 32 frames per second, all at full um, resolution. The next uh, camera family we have is the HT series. This is more uh, using the more familiar RJ45 connection, uh, typical to current Gigi customers. <clears throat> we offer the same sensors as we do on the HR series. Uh, you can use CAT6A cable up to 100 meters. You can sync in uh, milliseconds or microseconds, and it actually has even a smaller form factor to the HR series. Another good thing to point out is our cameras are uh, the smallest form factor 10 gigi cameras on the market today, and our HT is even smaller than our HR. And also, um, a quick thing to note here, uh, frame rates do not change because we've changed the connector. It's just another um, option to offer flexibility to our customers in the marketplace. Anyone that maybe has uh, CAT6A currently running through their uh, systems can easily uh, use that cabling for our 10 gigi cameras as well. 
The next line of products that we're excited to announce is uh, Sony Pregis uh, cameras. Sony Pregis sensors um, offer some excellent uh, performance from uh, CMOS sensors, including high dynamic range and quantum efficiency. We'll be offering uh, the Sony Pregis lineup on both our HR and HT series. We have a 3, a 5, an 8.9 more like a 9 megapixel and a 12 megapixel. Um, the 3 and 5 are already in production and the 8.9 and the 12 meg will be in production in January of 2017. Our most popular acquired camera is the 12 meg, uh, probably because of the uh, sensitivity and performance of the sensor, but also because it's a 4K solution running at 68 frames per second, which is um, highly desired in uh, many uh, different types of applications. We are also happy and excited to announce a 50 megapixel uh, solution using a Samosa sensor. It's the CMV50000. Uh, we'll offer this both on our HR and HT series, uh, 23 frames per second at full resolution. We expect monochrome uh, cameras to be in production uh, by Q1 of 2017 and color uh, Q2 of 2017. Next we'll talk about the accessories and you can see we offer a wide range of accessories um, for our cameras. The first we'll discuss is our NIC cards. For the HR series we have a single, dual, dual sync NIC and we'll be offering a quad NIC which will actually have the capability of potentially um, offloading eight cameras to it. The HT series will offer a uh, single and a dual. MVA is included with each card that ships, and we'll discuss that next. So, what is MVA? Well, typical Intel cards offset the data from a Gigi camera for the, to the PC to process. With the amount of data and the speed that comes off a 10 Gigi camera, that operation would cripple most PCs on the market today. EVT partnered with Miracom to design MVA so when the data comes off the camera, it is processed directly on the card. This leaves the PC free to do whatever processing a customer needs to do after the images are captured and provides less than a 1% CPU utilization. How do sync capabilities of the dual sync NIC cards work? So with the dual sync NIC cards, you have the option of two cameras per card and um, up to four to eight cards per PC. Currently, we have a customer that uses um, eight cards in a custom server they've built, 16 two megapixel cameras running at 338 frames per second each, and synchronizes those 16 cameras using an iRig box and is able to synchronize them to sub one microsecond. So as you can see, um, uh, the dual sync NIC cards have a <coughs> connection for an iRig, and iRig is often resonant in many systems, so it's only a matter of patching the iRig signal to the sync NIC with very little added cost. And it's a great alternative uh, to external triggering because it limits, eliminates the wires that would have to run between cameras. Some things to note, uh, the SYNC card is only available for the HR series. Um, you can't use direct uh, attached copper cables, it has to be fiber. We have the four port NIC card coming soon, which will actually have, um, it'll actually have four ports that are 10 gig -y, and then it has a fifth port that is 40 gig that will be able to break out another four uh, cameras. So that would be eight cameras total that that card could potentially support. What are the other options to syncing our cameras outside of the dual sync NIC cards? So the option one is simple time stamping frames at the application level. In this option, any Miracom NIC would be fine. Uh, a dual sync NIC wouldn't be required. Transceivers wouldn't be required. It's suitable for any length of cable and you could sync in milliseconds. For option two, a hardware triggering, any Miracom NIC is fine. No sync NIC is required. No transceivers are required. Most suitable for shorter cable runs since trigger signals between cameras are required and sync in 10 microseconds accuracy. Cables and transceivers. Um, for the HR series, we have two options, uh, direct attached copper cable to 10 meters. Um, and then we also have the fiber, fiber cable option, one meter to 10 kilometers. With uh, fiber, you're gonna need transceivers. We have two options for that. We can use a short range multi-mode fiber transceiver um, up to 300 meters. Or if you needed uh, fiber from 300 meters to 10 kilometers, you could use single mode. For the HT series, uh, you can just use CAT 6A cable um, from one meter to 100 meters. 
We carry a full line of power supplies, GPIOs, tripods, F-mount adapters, and you'll see them all here. We have standard plug-in-the-wall power supplies with the mating connector to the Hiroshi on the back of our camera. We also have a breakout um, for trigger. We have um, just a trigger cable if you want to provide your own um, um, your own power to the camera. We have uh, power supplies for the burger mount, which we'll talk about shortly. We have tripod mounts, F-mount adapters for our larger format cameras, and we'll also be offering an F-mount adapter for the 50 meg uh, camera once it's in production. What is the burger mount? Uh, burger mount's a pretty exciting accessory to all emergent vision uh, technology cameras. Uh, it uses uh, The burger mount is a lens mount designed by Burger Engineering and with it uh, customers can use Canon EF mount lenses and control iris and focus through our API. Canon EF mounts are available for all of our camera models and we do have the power supplies as you can see here to support the uh, burger mounts. Here's just a quick list of applications that our uh, cameras are very popular in. Uh, machine vision is definitely on the uptick, but we do see uh, a good amount of customers from sports and broadcast as well, as well as virtual reality. Some frequently asked questions. What is 10 Gigi? Well, as we discussed, it's the it's uh, successor to Gigi with 10 times the speed and also faster than USB 3. Does Gigi Vision work with 10 Gigi? Yes, we are Gigi Vision and Jenny Cam compliant. Maximum bandwidth is uh, 10 Gbps and usable bandwidth is around 9.5 Gbps for us. What are the cable options? Again, for HR you have direct attach to 10 meters, fiber with transceivers from 1 meter to 10 kilometers, or you can do a uh, CAT 6A cable up to 100 meters for our HT series. Why can't I use a 10 gigi card that I buy online or one that comes with my computer? Basically, off-the-shelf 10 gigi NIC cards work like gigi cards, offloading data from camera to PC. With the speeds and data coming off a 10 gigi camera, this typical process of standard NIC cards will overload most PCs on the market today. EVT NICs work with the camera so all data is offloaded to the NIC, providing the customer a less than 1% CPU utilization for their PC. What is the benefit of using 10 gigi for my application? Well, ultra high data and frame rates a large variety of accessories and cable options to cover any length, camera network support and accurate multi-camera sync, low CPU overhead, low latency and low jitter, very competitive cost performance which will improve as 10 gigi is further adopted, and industry acceptance due to IEEE and AIA standardization. How does 10 gigi compare to other interfaces? EVT 10 gigi cameras and NIC card solutions equals or outperform, outperforms other interfaces in every technical category and its price performance is in line with the best. So as you can see here, um, with most of the category standard support, industry adoption, it's actually going to be even better as time goes on. CPU utilization is low, it's actually lower than um, gigi, and uh, latency and jitter is excellent. Um, and price performance is also going to get better as time goes on as well. Where will 10 gig, 10 gig be in the future? This is a uh, chart, a poll that was done by Vision Systems Design last year and um, as you can see maybe not surprising USB 3 was one of the uh, top interfaces suggested however there are um, major limitations with USB 3 cable length, um, there's been some issues with um, performance or consistent performance from USB 3 cameras. Um, so I would probably say if they did this poll again that you'd probably see a little bit of this uh, blue go away. Red uh, represents Gigi which makes sense because Gigi is the most popular um, interface for machine vision cameras on the market today. However to our happy surprise 10 Gigi was the third uh, most popular option and we actually expect this uh, green to cut a little bit into this and a little bit into uh, Gigi as well as we think it is going to be the next great interface. Here's a chart from Dell uh, talking about the adoption of 10 Gigi in um, computer products. As you can see Gigi was dominating um, computer products up until about 2010-2011 uh, you started to see a little uptick of 10 Gigi and as time goes on you can see 10 Gigi is um, becoming more and more uh, the standard uh, for computer products. How does 10 Gigi compare to USB 3.1? USB 3.1 released will incur the same cost performance as 10 Gigi. 
offloading data from USB 3.1 will have the same implications as 10 gigi, so they have to um, have some type of solution like we do with uh, MVA to uh, support all the data that's going to come off a USB 3.1 device. And uh, 10 gigi is already a standard USB 3.1, 3.1 is not. 10 gigi is already used in multiple industries. What operating systems are supported? We, uh, we support Windows 7, 8, and 10 by the end of the summer. We'll be offering Linux um, support. We actually currently offer Linux support as well. What off-the-shelf components are available for Tengigi? Well, as you know, uh, Tengigi just isn't used in machine vision. It's used in many different industries. So there's already quite a bit of peripheral products out in the market today uh, that support the Tengigi interface. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed learning more about our 10 giggy cameras. Feel free to stop by our website and contact us if you have any questions. Thanks. Have a great day.